Hi, this is Karen, and I want to give you a very fast tour of what some of the paid features look like. So if you subscribe to Build Track 50, then you are able to save a search, and we call save searches bill sheets. So let me open up and show you what my bill sheets look like. So I have saved searches about all of these different topics. And if I come in here and look at a bill sheet, this is the results of my saved search. Now this search gets run every night and any new bills get added and all of the information about um, actions and votes and all of that gets updated every day. So this bill sheet is always kept up to date. Once I have this saved search, and you're setting up the search the same as you would with a quick search, although you have a lot more options, such as narrowing by bill type or status, or you can look back at historical years, um, you can narrow it by committee and so forth, or even just create a list of specific bills you want. Um, once you've set up this search, then there's a bunch of options for what to do with it. Of course, you can just look at the bills and read them. You can export them out to Excel. You can sort and filter and do all of that. But you can also set up alerts. And you get to pick what you would like us to email you about. When a new bill is introduced, great. Would you like to know when there's a vote? Then you're tracking. Um, do you want to know whenever there's any action or when there's um, a sponsor change or anything like that? So we will keep you updated about uh, happenings with your bills. Um, and you can also follow when they get scheduled to be heard in committee, and we'll keep a separate calendar for you, and that is up here in the event schedule, showing you when things are coming up, and we'll even email you to remind you that one of your bills is about to be heard in committee. So we will keep you updated, and you can track the legislation. The great thing about Bill Track 50 is all subscriptions come with unlimited um, users, so you can set up your alerts how you want, and if you've got other people also using Bill Track 50, they can set up their alerts however they want. So you can get the emails about what you care about, and then your colleagues can get emails about what they care about, and then where your interests overlap, well, there you can get the same alerts. So it's completely configurable so that each one of you is getting just what you need. All right, so in addition to the alerts, we also have these little widgets. So you may have seen these scattered around um, our website or other websites. So you can create a list of bills. You can change the color and um, the shape and all of that to make it fit on your website. And then we will keep it updated with the latest information. And of course, anybody can click and read the bills. Uh, you can also create a map of bills and put that on your website. And then when anyone clicks on a state, it'll show the bills from that state. And you can, let's see, I think I've got, and then you just paste the, it on your website by just pasting this little bit of code. Um, easy peasy. Then it'll stay updated every day as you add bills and remove bills. They get updated to the map right away. And then the status of the bills gets changed um, twice a day to stay current. Now, the, the grid here, when I clicked and looked, and I can, let me change this to my release map here. Um, so when I click on a state and it slides over and shows me the bills, um, of course, you can still click and read the bill. But these columns here are configurable. So you can add in whatever information you think is relevant to show to people. Um, and you can hide any information that you do not care to share with the public. So this grid is a lot like this grid, and you can create whatever columns you want in whatever order you want. You get to say what the sort's going to be, how wide they're going to be. Um, you can create drop down lists. You can create links in here, um, anything you want. So you can have just as many comments in this grid as you need and give yourself space to um, keep notes. You can put columns for, you know, everybody on the legislative policy committee and they can all put their own comments, um, whatever you need to try to keep track of what's going on. Um, all right, so that is that. And then there is also stakeholder pages, which is another way to share bills. So if you've got some bills you want to share with a coalition, you can set them up in here, put whatever comments you want, and then you can have a discussion forum and invite people from the coalition in to put in their comments and their intelligence and 
as I mentioned, you can have unlimited users in your account. So you can add somebody from anywhere you need to so that you all can be commenting. So this can be internal discussion. So you can be getting um, information from departments or subject matter experts so that you can make up your mind what you want to do or from like a legislative policy committee. Or you can be an organization collaborating with orga other organizations and you can invite those people in so that they can also uh, put in their comments and you can all stay on the same page. So that's a stakeholder page. And then there is also our um, regulation searching if you want. And that works just like the bill sheets. You're just searching regulations, um, but same thing. And then scorecards, you can come in here and say, pick some bills that you cared about. Um, so for example, I had these um, bills that I picked and then I gave them a rating and your rating can be whatever scale you want. Although we think one to five makes sense, but you can do whatever you want. You can give people extra credit for sponsoring bills. And then we'll add together how everybody voted on these bills you cared about and show you who was voting the most your way and who was voting the least your way. And you can look at that picture in a grid. You can look at that picture as a chart. You can look at that picture as a map. So this is also, you can use this internally. You can share it with anyone you want internally, or you can publish it right to your website and let the public see this information as well. All right, so that is a very quick tour of some of our paid options. Um, I hope there is something here that intrigues you. Thanks.